Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Joe. I'm a comic book artist and a just general uh, fan of video games and comic books. So uh, I wanted to do a fan art series where I go through my process of drawing a figure or drawing some fan art and just um, giving you guys a little bit of the background uh, ideas and uh, the process. So. Before I get really uh, into it, I just want to talk about who I'm drawing. I'm drawing Guile because it's uh, Veterans Day today and um, it's a special shout out to my older brother who likes uh, the character. We used to play Street Fighter all the time um, when we were kids and uh, he really liked playing that character. So this is for him. But before we get into that, let me talk about my new comic book, Star Circuit. It's right now in pre-campaign on Indiegogo. You can click the link in the description. And you can go and check out a little bit of what the book's about. It's a cyberpunk racing adventure. And there's a lot that goes into the story outside of just racing. But its appeal comes from these high-speed chases and this kind of colorful cast of characters. Uh, not to mention the anime slash comic book influence in the artwork. So uh, you can go to the page in the description. Um, and on the bottom of that page, you can even go read a preview of the comic. Um, by clicking the button at the bottom. Uh, I also want to share the trailer, so let's check it out. Let's get back to the art. Um, so as you can see, my process is very um, sketchy in the beginning. Um, you saw me draw in two or three different figures before I even got to the basic pose I wanted. And in the midst of all this, I'm kind of looking up a little bit of reference, uh, looking at like some action figures I have around me, you know, those posable ones. I'm just trying to figure out what's a cool um, setup for this character. Um, the idea here is that I wanted Guile to be uh, standing in like a heroic type pose with, um, you know, a military background with the flag flying and some F-18s going past, um, kind of blowing the, his hair. Uh, that was the idea. So since I, I almost had him have like a the sonic boom energy in his hands, but I figured since it's veterans, they wanted to keep it more grounded. So I decided to put a gun in his hand because um, he's military. He's going to carry, you know, a handgun. He's, um, you know, it's just a typical thing for a military guy to have. Uh, and since he, you know, didn't get to use his sonic boom in the image, I wanted to have at least the F-18s kind of like go by because that's, you know, they're probably going, uh, the speed of sound at some point so it's kind of a throwback to that uh, sonic boom so let's look at what I'm doing here uh, the drawing is uh, a little bit wonky I didn't realize where my forearm uh, needed to be in the way that I wanted the gun to be held so the wrist kind of needed to be rotated where it's more flat to the camera um, and that way the gun would kind of uh, and be in a three-quarter view the way I wanted it because if you kind of put a gun in a flat view it doesn't look as cool as if you get uh, the planes of the gun um, in this case uh, this handgun uh, if you don't get the planes right you really can't tell exactly um, the dimension of it so that's the idea here I'm still in the sketch phase because uh, the way I work is um, kind of the general organic method um, probably popularized by uh, David Finch and others that you do the underdrawing and then erase away um, lightly to keep some of the underdrawing and then clean it up. 
it's the same thing you would do digitally if you wanted to uh, just lower the opacity and it'd be just a cleaner way of erasing away and then drawing on top of the underdrawing. So here the, the legs just seem weird. I think eventually I, I redraw them, but here I'm trying to get the, the F-18s uh, in motion and you know not take up too much of the page, not draw away from the main feature, which is his face. That's where I want your face, to, your eyes to go first, is to his face. Um, and then I also wanted to have the same line of action of his arm and gun that's pointing to the upper right. Um, uh, right next to that is the flag, which is the only downside. I kind of wish I put the flag a little bit higher of this drawing, but it, overall it turned out pretty cool. Now he wears um, a cargo uh, pants kind of setup, uh, just like as if you took off your fatigues, uh, off your you know the jacket off the fatigues, you will be left with just the tank top uh, and uh, the fatigue pants. So he's got cargo pants, and I've got a little comb sticking out of his back pocket because um, you know he's always combing his hair. That's his kind of thing. Um, and with the F F-18s flying by, I wanted the, his hair to kind of be messing up and kind of, it's almost like a little Easter egg to, you know, his hair not looking pristine like he'd probably like. So, uh, that's what I'm going for here. Uh, like I said, we're still in the, um, some of the, I think I'm cleaning it up here, uh, on his head, but most of the drawing is still in the underdrawing phase. Um. The table I'm working on is tilted, so it does look like his head is a little too big here, and I think it maybe is because I do widen out that upper torso a little bit. Um, but yeah, I think the table being tilted also lends to the drawing looking a little bit wonky here, but I think in the end it, it turns out um, pretty decent. I'm, uh, I think if I did it again, I would make his head just a little smaller because like the hair kind of messes with you. Um, and so maybe his head needs to be even smaller than you would otherwise make it on another character. But uh, there's a series of pictures um, that, um, I don't know why I'm blanking on his name, the guy who, he's an artist that worked on the concept art for Marvel vs. Capcom. And those series of drawings I really liked. And this is kind of a throwback to one of the poses um, that he did for Guile. Um, it's this one where it's just his legs up and he's doing kind of a different pose, but uh, overall it's pretty close to that. So I wanted to tribute to that because um, I, I do like his approach on art in general. And um, I, I dig how he's got like this sketch look. So I, it's one of the things I usually keep um, some of the sketchiness in my final drawings. Um, and this is kind of a sketch because um, I don't, I don't bring it to the inked stage. I really like keeping things at the pencil stage because it's just more organic and I really like how that um, adds to the grit, adds to, especially for these um, kind of manly type characters, I think it lends to that. You don't want it to be super clean. Uh, so it's working here. Um, I think the F-18s uh, really are giving a little bit of depth now. Uh, and I'm putting in the shadows here, as you can see. I'm using basic um, massing of shadows and what you want to do when you draw to make an easy uh, time for yourself is to mass the shadows in one direction. So if your light's coming from upper left or upper right, right now it's coming almost from directly over the top because um, it's daylight, I'm thinking. So you just want to mass your sa shadows regardless if there's going to be bounce light or not. Uh, first work on massing the shadows um, and massing them in a way where um, that the lighting isn't confusing. Like you don't confuse yourself and if you keep it simple, you're not going to confuse your viewer either. Your, um, your audience is going to be pretty clear on where, what's happening. So, uh, that's one piece of advice. I know other artists, I've already mentioned Dave Finch and I know he kind of brings that uh, piece of advice and I think it's a good one like even if you get good at lighting um, it's a good way to uh, keep it simple for yourself and keeping sim things simple is almost an art direction in itself you deciding to make things simple and not go too crazy with things is an art decision so uh, that's one thing I like to do 
Uh, we're coming to the end of it because uh, there's only so much I could do on these uh, these fan art videos. I wish I could clean it up even further, but uh, thanks for watching. This uh, is something I do want to do every week, so come back and watch some other ones. This is about it. We're almost to the final. I wish I could bring it to a higher level of polish, but this is a weekly thing, so I'm hoping to do more of these. And um, yeah, please, in the comments, write who you'd like to see me draw, and uh, we'll definitely take that into consideration. Uh, please like and subscribe the video. If you love this kind of thing, uh, please hit the bell notification. You'll get all my uh, frequent updates. And again, head over to Star Circuit comic.com to read the preview and click the link in the description for indiegogo and sign up for the mailing list it's coming out very soon i appreciate all the support guys i'll see you next time